coming to you guys bare and ugly and I'm gonna take this um, moisturizer from Nivea and I'm basically gonna put this all over my face you want to make sure your makeup is uh, I mean your skin is hydrated before you put your makeup on you don't want any dry skin under your makeup we're gonna rub this all in and then I'm gonna basically moisturize my lips as well to prep our lips for our lipstick that we will be putting at the end of the video. I'm basically gonna slap these lashes on my face. If you guys wanna um, see a in-depth um, lash tutorial, just let me know. It's really easy, I can get that out quick. And also I um, did my eyebrows off camera as well. If you guys want to see how I do my eyebrows, just let me know. I would definitely get that video out too as well. I'm taking my Sephora foundation and I'm basically just going to put two pumps on the back of my hand and I'm basically going to, I keep on saying basically, I'm going to dab this onto my face. Then I'm just basically rubbing this in around my face just so it can be easier to blend with the beauty blender. This beauty blender is the bomb. Like, I love it so much. It makes your foundation like airbrush. Like this is basically the key to my flawless foundation because when I do this with a brush, it doesn't look like this. Like this beauty blender makes it look so bomb. Invest in one, you will love it. And it takes me about literally three minutes to blend in foundation. You want to make sure your whole face is blended in. You also want to make sure you go down your neck because you do not want your neck and your face to different colors. That is not cute. Then I'm taking my LA Pro Concealer and this one is in I think Warm Honey. And I'm basically going to put this under my eyes, on my chin, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, and forehead. And I use this basically to cover up my bags. But I put it on my chin and cupid's bow and nose and forehead just to even it out. Then we're going to take that same beauty blender and we're going to basically blend this out really, really good. You want to make sure you're using tapping motions. I'm not, I'm literally not swiping. Oh, that didn't make sense. <laughs> I'm literally dabbing my makeup. I'm not swiping it. You don't want to swipe it because that can mess your makeup up. You want to be um, dabbing your makeup. And it's like I'm going ham on my face, but I'm really not. Like, I'm really being gentle. And then we're basically just making sure everything is blending out. And then I'm going to take my LA um, Pro Concealer and I think this one's in Chestnut. And I'm basically going to, I guess basically is my favorite word. 
I'm going to put this um, in the hollows of my cheek just to darken up that area and to make me have the illusion of higher cheekbones. And then I'm going to take a Real Technique blending brush and I'm basically going to, <laughs> I'm going to blend this out. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend it out even more. And then I'm going to take the leftover product and blend it out on my forehead. And I'm going to take my um, Pro Concealer, and this is in the color Medium Beige, and I'm going to highlight under my eyes. And I'm also going to put this the same place where I put that first concealer, just to even it out. We're going to take that same beauty blender and we're going to blend out. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. So now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier setting powder and apply this with my beauty blender. This is going to make sure our makeup stay in place and does not move throughout the day. You don't have to use this one. This one is kind of pricey. You can use any setting powder but you want to make sure you set your concealer with some type of powder in order for it not to move. Then I'm going to basically put this on my chin, nose, cupid's bow, and forehead. Everywhere basically that I apply this concealer. Then we want to bake it. Y'all know I got to snap it up real quick. <laughs> Eyelash check. But yeah, I'm just making sure my eyelash is on. So now we're going to take a big fluffy brush and we're basically going to dust that powder off. And I'm taking my Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Deep Dark and I'm basically going to put this where I put that um, contour, that cream contour. And I'm basically going to dust this around my whole entire face just to blend everything out. Then I'm going to take my Max Blunt Blush and I'm going to use this to contour as well. We're going to put that right on top of that contour as well. I'm using a real um, technique. I think this is a contour brush. I'm not sure, but it is a um, brush to get in those hollows of your cheek. Then I'm going to take um, another dense brush, and this is a dense brush by Morphe, and I'm going to basically put that right on top of where I put that um, other contour at, just because I'm extra and I love a contour, a good contour.
after that, we want to take our mascara. I'm using L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. And I'm basically going to coat my bottom lashes. You want to be careful because you don't want to get this on your makeup. And my lashes are tiny, so I have to be extremely careful. And this is just the first out of, I think, three coats. I really coat the bottom of my lashes. Then I take my Tarte Roblo kit, and this stuff is the bomb, y'all. Like, it's kind of pricey, but it is the bomb. Like, I'm so in love with it. It just gives me the perfect glow, and I get overboard with it. Like, you're going to see me put, like, 50 coats on top. <laughs> but I really love it, y'all. And I use two different shades out the kit, but I'm not sure what the shades are called. Um, but yeah, you, I can put it in the description box. But I put this on my cupid's bow, on my nose and chin, and then under my eyebrow. And this is the other color. Like, look at that glow. I, I love it. And I get enough of this stuff like it's so bomb Finding life along the way melodies we haven't played no I don't want no rest alright so I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush again and I'm basically going to tone it down just a little bit just so it can blend in with the rest of my face and I'm gonna take my mascara again and coat the bottom lashes this is our second coat And then we're going to take it one more time and coat it again. And I did put some of that um, glow stuff in the uh, tear ducts of my eyes. And I'm going to just wipe away all the makeup that fell onto my lips. And I'm going to put some Carmax on just to prep my lips for my lipstick. I'm using Max Chestnut Lip Liner and NYX Cario Matte Lip And I'm basically going to put these together and create this bomb lip combo. I'm also going to put a gloss on top of it and it's NYX Butter Gloss. Don't know the shade but it's like a new gloss and I'm absolutely in love with this lip combo. And that is it you guys. I hope all my newbies enjoyed this look and I want to thank you all for subscribing to me and watching my channel and I'll be back.